Hi, everyone. I hope you had a splendid year. So for this unit, we're going to explore the world of myths. Based upon your request, most of you have shown a great enthusiasm and excitement towards this unit. Um, you've all expressed your interest on myths and how methodologies, different uh, uh, myths around the world and how they impact our perspective, uh, how they formulate relationships and so on. So based on that, our key concept is going to be communication. You are going to communicate your perspective, understanding of the characters and intellectuality evident amongst diverse myths. So Please note that you will be comparing and contrasting between the two different myths. They could come from the same culture or not. And in addition to that, how they formulate our identity and relationship. So for instance, when I say an Inuit myth, what, what attributes are associated with Inuit people? So this question you will answer uh, throughout the entire unit. So we're going to be exploring human nature and human dignity, moral reasoning and ethnic uh, ethical judgment, uh, consciousness and yeah so our statement of inquiry will focus on the on the following we are going to uh, investigating the dynamic interplay of communication within characters and narratives to explore how identities and relationships are shaped and perceived within diverse global contexts and make ethical judgments. So at the end of the day, we're going to learn that every more uh, every myth does signify a specific moral lesson. So we're going to discuss the moral lesson behind each and every text and whether their judgment of a particular situation represents, represents an ethical or more of a moral understanding of a situation. I know this may sound a little bit fuzzy, but as we go throughout throughout the unit, you'll be able to an, uh, to answer this question. Now, as you've noticed, I said you'll be comparing and contrasting, and this leads us to criterion A. So for the final unit, we're going to do A, B, and D. A stands for analyzing. You are going to analyze two different texts, identify the main idea, the te technique and style, the uh, message that they're trying to infer and you need to always justify your opinions and ideas by referring to examples from the text moving on organizing not only do you need to find these examples but they need to be properly organized within the paragraph for instance let's say in one of the paragraphs you're going to discuss the impact of theme or the theme within uh, both the texts. They may share similarities and differences. Obviously, that depends on the two myths. You cannot mention anything about the, uh, let's say, the moral lesson, because your main focus here is theme, okay? So this is very important, and even the examples, not only should there be examples, but the examples must be correct, and they properly, they properly represent your stats. And finally, your favorite, your favorite criteria is going to be using language. So we're going to assess you on your use of language in writing. You need to make sure that you're using the appropriate vocabulary words discussed. In addition, the vocabulary words within the myths, for just a, an example. In Pandora's box, we don't have any sign of an imp. But in the Narcissus and Echo, there is. You cannot be mentioning, for example, uh, the term nymph, or though we, uh, although it's going to be one of the vocab words in Pandora's box, you need to use sophisticated diction. I don't want to see words such as good, bad, Pandora did a bad decision, ben Pandora is weird, no, uncanny, perhaps, she was confused, bewildered, so you need to delve into more uh, of your vocab, okay? Our ATL skills, research. Obviously, you're going to research and communicate information ideas effectively to a multiple audience and thinking, critical thinking. Now, why research? You're probably asking. Not only are you going to write a compare and contrast essay, but your A4 will be a compare and contrast PowerPoint presentation that aims to compare and contrast between two different literary works. Okay? Now, Obviously, as I've mentioned, the PowerPoint, you're going to create an, uh, a PowerPoint and collaborate with your peers to represent similarities and differences between myths. And 
Now, because we're talking about myths and we're exploring different cultures that represent identity and relationships, obviously, I and S is a key factor again in this unit, okay? We're going to look at historical contexts that represent myths in the past and how they were used in order to teach people lessons, especially in, that, in a particular culture. So this is very important, okay? And understanding and reflecting it in your PowerPoint is essential because one of the slides that you will be mentioning is about culture and how culture is effectively put or how culture is portrayed in each and every myth. Uh, the project will be introduced later on throughout the, throughout the unit, um, both an essay and a PowerPoint presentation um, in order to ensure that the unit moves uh, smoothly. We are going to do the PowerPoint presentation first and then move on with the essay. And what's good about this is that both assessments are somewhat close to one another. So you won't feel like this huge uh, uh, switch from the A4 to the E2. No, they're very similar, okay? So this should this is one of also, this is uh, one of your requests. Please take your time in watching these videos. The first one is how to write a compare and contrast essay. Uh, if you are more of a um, uh, of a reader, make sure you click on the authentic reading to review it and the product, and most importantly, my favorite, the rubric. Okay? I hope the unit uh, is as you all requested and uh, you are completely engaged within it. And I wish you a splendid year. Can't wait to see you hopefully next year. Have a lovely day. And if you have any requests, do not hesitate and send me an email or you may ask me face to face.